If you actually have strong algebra skills, you ought to be able to solve this problem. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the full solution in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. All right, so here's the deal. I'll get to the addition part uh, here in a second. But the first thing is we need to recognize what this 2 is, okay? Well, this scenario, this 2 times this matrix, this is co something called scalar multiplication, all right? Scalar, all right? So scalar multiplication, this is different than multiplying one matrix by another matrix. So when you study matrices, you uh, learn something about scalar multiplication. That's different than matrix multiplication. And scalar multiplication is super easy. It's basically like the distributor property. So we need to kind of um, address this 2 times this uh, matrix right here. So all we got to do is literally take the 2 and multiply it by each respective entry in the matrix. So 2 times 1 is what? 2. 2 times negative 3, negative 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 6 is 12. All right, so that's scalar multiplications. That's the first thing we need to do. Uh, basically, this is like the order of operation, right? We've got to take care of multiplication before we deal with addition. Okay, so anytime you're adding and or subtracting two matrices, they have to be the same dimension. Okay, that's another word for the uh, something called order, but basically the same size, all right? So here we have a two by two. And we can add it to another 2x2 two two matrix. If you have a 3x2 or 3x4 or 1x3, it doesn't make a difference, then you're not going to be able to add or subtract respective matrices. Okay, So if you have the exact same sizes in terms of uh, uh, two matrices you're trying to add or subtract, you can. And it's so easy to do this. This is not that difficult. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we get the final answer. All right, so all we're going to do is literally add the respective positions. Okay, so here, this is row one, column one, this entry here. So to get the answer, okay, we're adding these two matrices up. Uh, for row one, uh, column one, we're gonna take that two, add it to a five. So two plus five is what? Seven. And we're gonna put that in row one, column one. It's as easy as that. So you're like, is that easy? Well, I mean, wow, that is like super easy. So it's negative six plus zero, we'll get this position right here, negative six plus zero is negative six. And then we just kind of go from there. So this is gonna be row uh, row two, column uh, one. So that's eight plus one is negative nine, I'm sorry, nine, excuse me. And then our last entry is 12 plus two is 14. And that goes into row two, column two. It is e uh, as easy as that. So again, when you're dealing or when you're studying uh, matrices and, and matrix, you have to first learn basic matrix operation, things like scalar multiplication, how to add, how to subtract. Of course, I just uh, told you exactly how to do that. Now, of course, the numbers can change. You can be dealing with fractions and maybe more uh, scalar multiplication, but it's really not many. Uh, it's not much more difficult uh, than what I just showed you right here. Now, when you get into actual matrix multiplication, that's a whole different deal. When you're taking uh, two matrices and you're multiplying them together, this uh, does require, um, you know, it, this, well, let me just say this much. When uh, students start um, learning matrix multiplication, uh, it they make a lot of mistakes, okay? There's a lot of steps involved, not complicated steps, but you have to be super focused. I would say that if you are not neat, uh, and organized as a math student, if you kind of don't like to show your work or you're kind of sloppy, you're going to have a very difficult time, you know, in mathematics in general, in particular with matrices, okay? Even the best of math students make a lot of errors here. So I'm kind of kind of uh, giving you a little bit of a warning. Always, always, always be as neat as possible, uh, organized as possible. Show each step. Use pencil so you can erase if you need to. And if you make a mistake, go back and look at your work. You probably made some sort of little arithmetic mistake, okay? So if you need additional help with matrices, uh, check out my Algebra 2 course. I teach, um, uh, have a full chapter on matrices in uh, two, three courses. Um, so those would be Algebra 2, College Algebra, and then if you're at the pre-calculus level, I even teach even some more advanced things about matrices. But uh, anyways, 
uh, you can kind of select your level if you do need additional help with matrices. I do have um, additional videos on my YouTube channel about matrices as well, like determinants and matrix multiplication, so you can check that out if you need to. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.